Hello, I'm Rachel Padilla. Welcome to my living room, where I'm going to be sharing with you a relic from the past that sits in my living room. I was a teenager in the 90s, and that's not exactly a time known for its jukeboxes, but I was fortunate enough to live in a place that still had a Woolworths and had a place where I would spend Friday night dates called the Ace Inn. It had a big neon sign outside and a bar with stools inside and booths. And in the corner sat a jukebox very similar to this one. And I remember just dropping quarter after quarter in that thing and really enjoying it. There's something satisfying about a machine like this that is manual. There's the click of the button and then the sound of the little motors picking up the record and making the selection and then that sound of the needle dropping onto a record. I just love it. And this one, because this is a personal jukebox, every song in here is, a, is personally curated. And there are songs in here that represent decades of music. Everything from Elvis Presley to Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Personal favorite and pretty much the epitome of a jukebox song is I Love Rock and Roll. But I've also got in here Def Leppard photograph. I've got the Cars, the B-52s, Willie Nelson. It's a wide variety, an interesting variety, and one that I really hope to be kind of all-encompassing and a little something for everybody. A lot of sentimental songs, a lot of personal sentiment, I guess. And while the jukebox itself is in perfect working order, it does require a little restoration work still. Um, and the art is really faded and old. This is actually just a, a piece of a poster that's been put in here and um, this window would have had the, the top single of the week in it. But I'm thinking about really personalizing this and since it's in my home, really making it a reflection of myself. Maybe doing something with the, the glass down here. Um, the fleur-de-lis in, in the glass is not original to this jukebox. It does have a few missing pieces that were meant to go behind the glass. So I'm thinking of maybe doing something decorative to the glass here, maybe replacing these with some really cool, interesting art to really make this thing personal to me. So this is my jukebox in my living room. You know my love of analog things, including analog photography, old phone booths, and now you know about my jukebox. And in the digital age that we live in, um, the irony is not lost on me that I'm filming this digitally and it's going to go on the internet to be viewed about this classic relic. Thanks so much for watching.